Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services and I welcome you all to the learning series via News in Focus. Today's topic of discussion is International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for the Food and Agriculture. This is again something important considering the fact that UPSC has been putting its impetus on the questions related to the genetic plants, environment related issues and even related to the topics which is there with the International Treaty. So this particular topic is relevant for both prelims and mains examination and why I'm discussing this news because the president of India has recently come up with the web seminar. So I'll tell you the details about that as well. So during a worldwide seminar which was jointly hosted by the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture that is known as ITPGRFA. I'll tell you the detail about this as well in a while. So there was a joint collaborations between this and food and agriculture organizations that the president of India has specifically highlighted the significance of protecting the farmer right. In India specifically when we talk about the farmer right it is very important to address the issues that is concerning the farmer whether there is livelihood options, where there is a part of security, where there is a part of the health that is there right. So everything has to be addressed in an adequate manner so that the rights of farmer are not being impacted. So everything was holistically covered in the joint seminar. Now what is important for you uh, as a civil services expert? So the India is hosting the inaugural global symptom that is from 5, 12 to 15 uh, this particular month September organized by the food and agriculture organizations for Rome International Treaty Secretariat. The event seeks to drive the treaty implementations of the farmer rights. Now it aims to foster the discussion on innovation strategies, policy, best practices and knowledges. Now, if you see globally, there are a lot of other countries which has been doing condemnably, right? Bahut sare aise countries hain globally jino ne kafi achha perform kiya hai, whether it is United States, whether it is Russia. So these countries has been doing well. Even if you see the example for Ukraine, uh, they have been doing. Now recent they have been tussle. Uh, between Russia and Ukraine but these countries have done well when it comes to the part of farmer rights or even India may be kafi zyada is pe dhyan di gai. Now this particular symposium also intended to have a champion farmers as a vital custodian of for agro biodiversity and the pillar for global food security. In India we have lot more program which is going to help and even to provide food security, right? Food security ko lekar ki government of India ne kafi important schemes bhi leave hai. And the other thing that is there, midday meal up example le sakte hai, and yodha yojana hai, or se kai sari schemes hai that government has come up with, right? So this is important for you to know ki food and agriculture organization ne kis tarah se globally contribute kiya hai food security ko ensure karne ke Now apart from this, if you talk about the ITP GFRA. So this is an international treaty on plant genetics also known as plant treaty that is legally binding. So important point to be noted it is legally binding. This can be relevant for problems examination. It was established to ensure the conservation, sustainable use, fair sharing and benefits related to plant genetic resources from the food and agriculture. Right Now the treaty was adopted by the food and agriculture organization the United States in 2001 and this come into force in 2004. So actually when it was there in action in 2004 but it was adopted in 2001 itself. So there is a difference when the statement will be framed in the examination. Now what is the aim of ITP GRFA? Kya kya is ki aim hai? First and foremost this aim is very important for your mains examination right. Mains maps se direct sawal pooche ja sakte aims mein even for prelims they can be a two statement based questions. So it aims to promote the conservation of genetic plant resources, encourage sustainable agriculture, protect the right of farmers who have contributed to the development and conservation of these resources. Now it has also facilitated the access to genetic resources ensuring the benefit are equitably shared among the countries and the stakeholders and establish a system for monitoring treaty to implement and the part of the implementation and its reporting. So it's an important organization, a part of things taken care by along with the assistance by the food and agriculture organization 
और एट दिस जंक्शन वेयर इंडिया इज लुकिंग फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ आर फार्मर्स चाहे वो बात करें मेन्योर की या फिर फर्टिलाइजर सिक्योरिटी की प्रोवाइडिंग द लाइवलीहुड ऑप्शन गवर्नमेंट हैज़ बिन डिवाइजिंग आउट अ लॉट मोर पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम दैट इज हेल्पिंग फॉर द फार्मर्स तो ये कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरनेशनल ट्रिटीज भी आपके लिए जानना जरूरी है सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट फॉर द टॉपिक इफ यू हैव लाइक दिस वीडियो डू गिव सतम सब सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज विल कम अप विद सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड वीडियोज दैट इज रेलिवेंट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन फॉर टाइम बींग आई एम साइनिंग ऑफ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग